So in this first lesson, we're going to go through the process for installing Playwright and setting up your first project. Four steps to walk through. The first is installing Node.js, as we're going to be using TypeScript for writing and running our tests. And that'll be execution in Node.js environment. We'll install Visual Studio Code. And then steps three and four are all about installing the Playwright extension and then setting up your first Playwright project. So one of the prerequisites we'll need for our Playwright projects is Node.js. So we're going to download the Node.js installer for Windows. And if you come over to the Node.js.org website, you'll find the download link here. And we can select download Node.js, latest version for Windows. If we run that installer, we can step through the Node installation steps. And once that's completed, we'll be ready to install Visual Studio and create our first Playwright project. So if you search for the Microsoft Visual Studio Code download web page, and we're going to download and install Visual Studio Code, which is the editor we'll use for most of this training course, although we will be doing quite a lot with the command line stuff. So this will support both Windows, Linux, and Mac. So once you've downloaded, run the installer. And once the installer has started, you'll see the dialog boxes to step through to complete the installation. Once the install is complete, you can open Visual Studio. And the next step we've got to complete is to install one of the extensions for Playwright. So the quickest way to do this, go to the extensions, Area in Visual Studio, search for Playwright, and that should give you the Playwright test for Visual Studio Code extension. Install that, and once that's installed, we're ready to create our first project. So after installing the extension to create your first project, just two steps. We need an empty folder on our file system, and we need to install the Playwright modules that we'll need to run our first project. So if you come to the Explorer view, you can do open folder, find an empty folder to find a folder where you want to create a new project folder, create a new folder, and I'll call mine project one. And if we go into that empty project folder and select the folder, that will create our project where we want to start with Playwright. Now, one of the things you might want to just check before you try to proceed and install your first Playwright project is that Visual Studio has picked up Node and NPN. So you can go to View, Terminal, and in here, if you type Node minus V, you should see if Node has actually been picked up by Visual Studio. If it hasn't, press Control Shift P or go to View Command Palette again. type select default shell. Instead of using the PowerShell, which it's defaulted to, we're going to use the command prompt. But if you refresh the terminal by going to terminal, new terminal, it'll open up a new terminal, pick up the path after the node installation, and you should now get npm minus v. See the version of the node package manager that you're running with. And if you do node minus v, you'll see the version of node you're running with. So at this point, we're ready to start creating our first Playwright project. And we have our project folder, the empty folder, open and selected in Visual Studio Code. So now we can go to Command Palette, and we can type Install Playwright. And again, we get the list of browsers that we want to work with. We'll get the option to select if we want to Code in JavaScript or TypeScript, default is TypeScript, and then we've got the act, and then we've got the option to add GitHub Actions and workflows, which we'll talk about in a later lesson, where we'll add the execution to a GitHub project and run the execution of our tests automatically. So click on OK, and then we should see this command run npm init playwright, and that will install all of the packages we will need for our Playwright project. So you'll see all of these files added in our project one directory, that includes the GitHub, 
subfolder node modules that we need, the tests folder, some sample tests, and the playwright config file, which we're going to talk about in one of the upcoming lessons that will discuss all the settings and options for your playwright project. And once that's complete, you should see the successful completion message with the little character representing the Playwright logo. From here then, we'll be able to start configuring our project, our Playwright project, and start creating our first tests, which we'll look at in the next lesson.